Anyone got any fear or anxiety? That was the one that had the most hands up. Anyone got fear or anxiety that they want to get rid of right now? This lady right here. Come on! You can take a seat in the time of therapy, hypnosis, chair. How are you doing? You having fun? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you, ready, you ready to have fun? <laughs> look at this already. I don't need to ask her the fear or anxiety has been activated. Just look at your client. That's beautiful. That's great. That means the neurology inside her head is activated. No. You want to get rid of this shit once and for all? Oh, yeah. Cool. Any good reason you need to hold on to this shit? <laughs> all right. So we're going to get rid of this shit right now. Take a snapshot of how you think you look now and that shakiness you feel in your body. Because when you take a snapshot at the end today, it will be completely fucking different. Are you ready to play? Good. So what I need to do is just close your eyes. I already know the answer to this question, but I'll um, do it anyway for teaching purposes. Can you remember a time or anything that made you feel abstract fear, anxiety? Or something in the future, in fact, where you're just like, oh, holy shit, no, panic. You got something like that? Yeah, don't need to know what it is. Scale of 1 to 10, how strong is that now? Nine. It's a nine. All right, you know the deal. If I were to ask you where the future is, where might you point? Forward. And if I were to ask you where the past is, where might you point? Behind. Best thing about the past is you can leave it behind you. You're ready to be brave and get rid of this stuff. We're doing a yard sale on anxiety, fear, and panic today to get rid of this crap once and for all. You're not scared of heights, are you? Cool. This is only your imagination, anyway. So I want you to imagine now floating above your timeline in the way that feels right for you, all the way up in the air. And in a moment, not just yet, in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And you're going to go all the way back using your magic carpet, using your superwoman cape, using your DeLorean time machine. All the way back to the first time you ever felt fear in your life. Not your head if you understand and accept. Get ready now. One, go all the way back in time now. Two, float further and further back. Three, almost there, almost ready to experience that root cause. Four, further and further back, getting ready to get into that event. Five, one, go into that event right now, just before it happens. Just before it happens, you are safe. You are secure and you're protected just before it ever happened. Do you feel that fear in that event now? That's right, okay. Come up above the event, leave all that shit below you. You're above the event, you're leaving it below you. You're looking down on that event. Nod your head if you're in position two. In position two, it's amazing. This is the event where you get all the positive learnings, or any learnings whatsoever, the learnings of which will allow you to let go of this shit once and for all. The learnings of which will update your GPS, your iOS on your head, not on your cell phone, to update it now. Whatever there was to learn from this event, the learnings of which will allow you to let go. And as you look down, on that event right now. I'm going to hallucinate for a moment, but it usually proves to be fruitful. Go sit back on that event right now. I got you. Good. Are you in position two above the event? Okay. Do you notice that as you stay in position two above the event, looking down on the event, do you notice that the event probably happened to a younger version of you? Is that fair to say? And do you realise that the thinking that you did there that caused you to feel all this fear, panic, anxiety, whatever you want to call it, was the thinking of a far younger version of you? Is that fair to say? But do you realise now, if you put your brain as a mature, grown up, strong woman into the brain of that younger version of you, that perhaps things would seem a little bit different? Is that fair to say? So what I want you to do now, not just yet, in a moment I'll count from one to three. And you're going to go to position three, which is above the event, but far enough back into the past, at least 15 minutes before this event, or any event that could have led to this event, happened. And I want you to make sure you're looking towards now. Position three, now. 
at least 15 minutes before the event or any event that led to this event, that's taking care of the fear and the cost. Give them another opportunity to the back burner if they need to, to answer your question earlier. Make sure you're facing now. You're high enough up, you're far enough back. High enough up, far enough back. High enough up, far enough back until that just goes now. See you. And now I ask you, where's that fear gone now? <coughs> Your solar plexus. Any good reason you need to hold on to that fear? So what I want you to do now is I want you to imagine going further back, higher up, higher up, further back, higher up, further back, until that feeling in your solar plexus just goes. Just nod your head and you can let that go. It's a bit like an event happened, like you were fired from a job, you imagined, and you know you got your learning from it. You were fired from your job, you left, you cleared out your desk. However, your boss called you the next day and said, hey, I'm just calling to say you've been fired. You're like, well, I know, I don't need to give you that message anymore. I cleared out my desk yesterday. And you get on with your life. And then your boss calls you up the next day and says, hey, you're fired. You're like, I know, I cleared out my desk two days ago. Imagine if your boss keep calling you 10 years, 20 years after the fact, now that you've got a new job in your life, you'd, you'd change your number. You'd block that number because you already got the learning from it. And you don't need to have those signals or calls anymore. That's right. And now making sure you're high enough up, far enough back, high enough up, far enough back. Now I ask you, where's the fear gone now? It's got less, hasn't it? That's right. So what colour is that fit? First colour that comes into your mind? Blacky purple. Blacky purple. And what kind of shape is it? First shape comes into your mind? Goo. Goo. Alright. So what I'm going to get you to do in a moment is just open your eyes. Point to where that fear is inside your body right now. Good. Just notice this now. Just imagine. Let your hand go. Just imagine now that I grabbed it. Just imagine that I grabbed that gooey. That gooey black purple, just imagine I started to grab all of it, all of it. Even that last little bit that's trying to hide there, that's been there. That's been that's protecting you, but it's causing you to these shitty feelings years after the event. Imagine that I get it all, and I even corkscrew it out. More and more and more and more. All of it gone. Now, close your eyes. Open your eyes. What's your telephone number backwards? I don't really care if your telephone number is backwards. Close your eyes, go back to position three. Where's the anger? Where's the anxiety or fear going now? But less. Good, what colour is that? Still black. Purple. Still black and purple. Open your eyes. Good, point to it. It's, it's there, right? Good. Imagine this now. I'm not going to pull it out now. Watch. Imagine now I reached inside. And I got underneath it, and I started to lift up that goo, lift it up all the way, up your chest, to your collarbone, to your face. That's right, all the way up your face, to your nose, lifting up, pulling up, or even that last little bit of goo, that purple black goo that represents all that old shit, all of it, all of it gone, all the way, all the way gone. Now, open your eyes, close your eyes, push it, open your eyes, what's your last name? I mean, count your last name is. Close your eyes. <laughs> position number three. Now, position number three. High enough up, far enough back. 
Where's that gone now? Just a little bit. Is there any good reason that you need to hold on to that little bit? You can say it. If you feel good. A little bit of armor. Go back to position number three right now. If you could feel totally protected anywhere you go for the rest of your life, but you didn't have to feel the fear or anxiety, but you just listen to your gut, your gut that's been with you from birth, the gut that's been with you from evolution, perhaps millions and millions of years, that knows that if you hear a bang, you just jump back from that bang. You didn't need to think about it a moment ago, you just react. Or if you're crossing over a crossing, legally, correctly, the green light, and suddenly a car comes out of nowhere and you jump out of the way. You didn't need to think about that for a second before, a minute before, ten years before. Your body knew how to keep you safe. Knowing that now, that you are safe, and that you are protected, as you're here right now. You can always keep this protection. The protection is your gut. Listening to your gut, because when you listen to your gut, not your heart, because sometimes we make emotional decisions that sometimes can get clouded. If you listen to your head, sometimes we over intellectualize things. However, when you listen to your gut, it cuts through all the noise, all the bullshit, and it keeps you alive and it keeps you safe. And as you imagine your gut, your heart, and your brain linking together now, as if there was a line, like a cable line, connecting them all. So your head always knows what you feel, and your head always knows what your gut instinct is at all times now. Knowing that's there to keep you safe, put one of your hands on your tummy where you feel your gut would be. That's right, No. whenever you need this to work for you, when it's just like, I get a feeling that I shouldn't go to this place, I shouldn't take this road, I shouldn't go on a date with this person, my gut, realize it's your gut telling you. And the more you listen to your gut, the stronger and stronger and stronger it gets. It may have been like you, like most people, that we don't listen to our gut, so it gets quiet. Because there's all this other noise that's going on, but when your gut is now channeled up, connected up, cabled up to your heart and brain, that signal from your gut, which knows, keep you safe. From that place now, from that place now, inside of this, experience. Now, where's your fear gone? One to ten, where's it now? Half, half of, half of, half of a one? Half of one. So there's just a tiny bit left. I'm going to ask you now. Sometimes people will come in for something like pain. So it's old chronic pain. So something they've been suffering of for many, many, many years. Not a new thing that's happened. And sometimes I won't take that pain away to a zero. Because when you take it away to a zero, sometimes they start to do silly things. Deadlift too heavy or sprint too hard. But when there's that one or half of one there, it just lets people know they can operate okay, not do anything silly, live a pain less and suffer free life. But it just reminds them to not do anything silly. If this is what this is for you, and you feel appropriate for a reason like that to keep it, I'm certainly not going to take it away. If you have a good reason, however, if you have no good reason, we're taking that shit away. So what does your gut tell you? Good reason. So could you have that half of one, that half of one, and live a life where you're protected from when you need to be protected? Yet this old fear, this old anxiety doesn't need to bleed into other areas of your life. Is that okay? And are you okay at a half? So what I want you to do now is take all the time you need to now float back to this very moment, only as quickly as you can allow your life to reevaluate itself in such a way 
that will support them in learning your new decisions, making you stronger and more courageous, always protected in this moment, listening to your gut. When you come back to this very moment, So please don't think that I am in any way, shape, or form. Sometimes people don't hear what I said. So when you do come up back to the present moment, allow your eyes to open, but again, take all the time you need to. Thank you. 